Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. We live in an age where the auto industry is changing and fast. The wave of electrification, autonomous driving, and robo-taxis are shifting the auto landscape. But despite technological hurdles and economic headwinds, robo-taxis are showing signs of resilience. They're deploying fleets. Uh, they're deploying fleets of hundreds of vehicles. They are setting up operations in new cities. Uh, and I think that shows a willingness from their, uh, from them and or their parent companies that they're going to continue to put billions of dollars into this. And, and they see an inflection point somewhere in the second half of this decade. Advanced driver assistance systems provide both convenience and a brief moment of hands off the wheel operation. But car companies might favor driver assistance systems, not robo-taxis, as a faster path to profitability and less of a technology challenge. There's an acknowledgement now that the technology is, is tougher to crack than was kind of first put forth and kind of continues to make incremental gains. And depending on who you talk to, there's still some pretty big breakthroughs needed to, to really do this in a widespread, meaningful way. But robo-taxis are a complicated business. One official says it's an entirely different business than ride hailing. And some analysts say the pathway to profitability is challenging, as many variables still exist. That, I guess that's reason number one is the kind of the operational complexity, who owns the vehicles and maintains them. You know, number two would be there's different ways to approach this business. Not everybody believes that that straightforward path that Waymo and Cruise in particular have taken is the right one. Bigelow says scaling is key in order to be successful. But how to scale without a parallel increase in expenses becomes the question. One official says even if you unlock this technology in a city, how will you be able to finance and make it until it turns into a positive business case? So. Is there a future for robo taxis? So I think the devil's in the details here. It's it's complicated. Um, I don't know that we're going to see all these grand plans come to fruition, but that's not going to help them get to the big revenues that are going to you know stall the billions uh, in losses right now. So it, we'll just we'll have to wait. We'll wait and see how these develop. Thanks so much, Pete, for taking the time to speak with us. To read more on his story, go to autonews.com. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at Autonews.com. For updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.